Hi everybody, welcome back to Taylor Toned. You've made it to a 30 minute full body floor bar workout. I aren't gonna be needing any equipment today, but I would recommend that you do have a mat or something to protect hands, knees, back throughout the workout. If you've not hit subscribe, do that right now. Press the bell so you get notified whenever I upload a brand new workout. Check out my Instagram, it's at Taylor Toned. And I'm also about to release a free follow along workout plan. To receive that, join my mailing list. The link to that is down below in the description, taylortoned.com. Let's get into this. I've already filmed the workout, it was amazing. Let's do this. I want you to start by bringing your hips down towards your heels and you're gonna reach the hands to the sky with an inhale. Exhale, sweep those hands back down towards the floor. Again, inhale here. Exhale, reach those hands up towards the sky. You're gonna bring your left arm down to the floor, reach the right hand over the top of the head, open through the heart, shine the side of the body up towards the sky. And again, inhale, exhale, other hand goes down, reach the arm over the top of the body and then sweeping the hand back up again. Drop the hands down, shoulder roll round, shoulder roll round. I want you to bring the feet in front of the body, going into a seated twist. Taking a bend through the knees, sitting nice and tall on your sit bones. You're gonna bring the hands into two nice grangles into the cactus position. Now grow off your hips. If you want the advanced version of this, full Pilates style, extend those legs, bring the feet in line with your hips. I'm gonna take a bend through the knee. Now we twist to the side and go back through the center. We go twist and twist. We go back to the center. Now as you twist round, working through the waist, working your obliques, growing nice and tall off the hips, crown of the head extends to the sky. We go for a twist and twist. So really working in towards the waist. You wanna think about your waist being a wet dishcloth here. You're wringing out all the water, twist and twist. We go through the center for two now on the beat and twist, we go, center up. Two more here, twisting it out to the side. Ooh, back to the center, one more. Twisting it out to the side. Now bring it back to the center, you're gonna extend the arms for two, then bring them back and lift. So going straight in towards an arm set here, let's burn and shake those arms out. Now roll the shoulder blades down, tuck your shoulder blades in towards your pockets of your pants, whatever you're wearing. We go lift up, lift up, we go extend, extend, keep going. You've got three more of these to go. We go extend and push two more, go lift and lift, extend, extend, one more, go lift and lift, extend, extend. Now shoot the fingertips up towards the ceiling, pull the abdominals in. At this point, you're gonna take a cross-legged position. Or if you can't cross your legs, any injuries with the knees, you're gonna sweep the feet round, don't drop the arms, and come to sit ooh, on your sit bones. The hands are gonna go up and down. Go lift and lower. So to pick your option, you can either be cross-legged or you can be your hips on your heels like me. Go lift and drop. Now go up, up, down. Go lift, lift, lower. So you're squeezing your fingertips towards the sky. Let's burn out those arms and pull. We go for a lift, lift, down. You've got this four to the change. Three until we change. You've just got two and drop. Last one. Keep those elbows there. Now extend those arms again. You're gonna float the hands high and then low. Float high, float low. So imagine you're an angel. You have wings, your arms are your wings and you're floating them up, floating them down. Pull the abdominals in again. Grow the hand, crown of the head up towards the sky. Don't drop out now, I know it's starting to burn. We go for a lift and lower. You've got five more here and then we're gonna hold. Four more here to stillness. You've got three, then we hold. Two, then we hold. Last one, keep those arms extended out. Now palms to the floor, you're gonna take a little tiny press down squeeze. Little push down squeeze. Little press down squeeze. Now the harder you push at this point, the more it's gonna burn. Little push down squeeze. So imagine you're pressing something really heavy and resistant into the floor, a big heavy spring. Go push down squeeze, push down squeeze. Three, then flip those palms to the sky. Two more here. Last one, push down squeeze. Now turn the palms up. Will we go lift up squeeze? Go lift up, squeeze. Again, keep those shoulders rolled down. What are your abs doing? Are you sitting tall off your heels? Go lift up, squeeze. We go lift up, squeeze. You've got this. Let's go three more here. Let's go two more here. Last one. You're gonna now float the hands up again and down. Now keep the palms pressing up towards the sky and down. Go lift and lower. Can we go a little bit faster here? Let's burn out those arms. Lift, drop, lift, drop, lift. Drop. You've just got six, 
five, four, control it. Three, two, one, keep the palms up. You're gonna press the palms back, then forwards. Go back and forwards. Press back for two, forwards. Nice deep breath. I know it's starting to burn now. I also <laughs> go back. I also did yoga like two days ago. It destroyed, I wanna say, my shoulders, my triceps. We were doing a lot of those when you drop down Chaturanga, it's called. And it really burns, so my arms are on fire right now. Here we go, faster, back, forwards, back, forwards. You've just got eight, seven, six, you've got five. We change in four, we're out in three, two, one. <sighs> Changing exercises, you're gonna flip yourself onto your side. Just like this, come on towards your sit bones. You're gonna extend both the toes forward. Now turn out through the legs. Into some leg lift. Hands around the hips, you're gonna extend. Left foot to the ceiling. Now flex the foot. You're gonna take a bend and extend. A bend, extend. No, it's not big, it's so tiny. We go for a bend, extend. Make sure you are lengthening through your hips here. Make sure you're lengthening through the leg. The leg goes long. Little bend, extend. You've got three push away, two, press away, last one. You're gonna point through the toe and we're gonna go down and then lift the leg to the sky. Take it down, now shine the heart up, keep pulling the abdominals in. So this session today, this class today, it's all on the floor, it's seated floor bar. Well, not seated floor bar, it's just floor bar. Go down to the floor, two more. We go for a lift up squeeze. We take it down, one more, then you're gonna lift it, hold, Flex the foot, turn out through the foot. Now little tiny presses up and up. The knees lengthen, the knees long. This is all about working your thighs. You've got just six, five, four more here. Three, two, hold. Give me six seconds. Five, I'm shaking. Four, and three, two, one. Extend the other toe, lift the foot. Take a flex of the foot. We go bend, extend, go bend, extend. Now draw the abdominals in. Lengthen through the torso, bend, extend, lengthen behind that knee. So this one is really, really great for working your thighs. I probably, like so many of you out there, have a dodgy, I've got a dodgy right knee. Doesn't feel good. I tried to do a hit class like two days ago. I had to modify the squat jumps. It's just years of abuse to my knee as a dancer. We go for a bend, extend, you've got two, and press. One, press, now point through the toe, you're gonna lower down and squeeze and lift. So this one is really good for burning out your thighs without using your knee, using, it's like low impact and you'll get a really good burn. I think that's why so many people love doing these bar classes, because you're not jumping around, you're not putting pressure on your knees, damaging your knees, lift it up, and you still get a really good burn and a shake, you still hate me. We go for a lift up squeeze, now last one, you're going to lift the leg up, you're going to flex the foot, turn out through the foot, little tiny presses up, and up, now draw those abdominals in again, shoot the side of the foot, the instep up towards the side, you just got seven, six more. Five, you've got four more here. Three, two, one. Straight away, flip it round onto your front. You're gonna bring both the forearms down, tuck the toes under, and come in towards a forearm plank. Don't worry if you can't do a forearm plank. Drop down to the fleshy part of the knees, bottom of the thighs, and hook the toes in. For the advanced version, keep your toes tucked under. You want your heels over the top of the balls of the feet, and you want to squeeze your belly button in as tight as you can. Close the ribs together, knit the ribs together. Put on the tightest pair of skinny jeans you own. Rotate your left fingertips to right elbow, and roll to a side plank. Reach this top hand high. Modification right now, underneath knee bends down towards the floor, but the top leg extends. This top hand, it wraps underneath the body for two, and then extends towards the sky, and add a little lift and lower. Wrap under for two, extend to the sky. We go with a lift, little lower. We go wrap under, wrap under, go lift to the sky. We go front up and down. One more burn already. And wrap. We go for a lift, extend, push the hip high, drop the hip low. Now roll through the center. You're gonna come on towards your forearms here. You're gonna take a rock forward, rock back, tap the left knee, lift and tap the right knee and lift. So we rock forward, back, we tap the left knee, lift, tap the right knee, and lift. If you can feel this in your lumbar spine, tuck your hips under, I always say this, but rotate your hip bones into your belly button. It's a really, really good thing to do if you can feel it in the lower back. 
Make sure you've got your hips the same level as your shoulders. Rock back one more. Go tap and lift. Go tap, then lift. Now rotate right fingertips to the left elbow. You're going to roll around, reach the hand high. Remember your modified version. We go wrap under for two. Go lift and lift. Now lift the hip up one, drop. Go wrap for two. We go for a reach. Reach, we go lift to the hip. Lower that hip down, wrap and wrap. Go lift and lift. We lift the hip for one and drop. Keep going. I'm hoping that my bum right now has not got a big wet mark on it. I did just wipe my mat down and my bum is feeling rather wet. I'm hoping it's not. Wrap, we go reach and reach. Now lift the hip and drop. Now roll through the centre back into your forearm plank. You're going to make sure your elbows are on top of your your shoulders, sorry, are on top of your elbows. Squeeze the abdominals in. And then we're going to run the knees. We go tap, tap, tap. Full cardio burst. If you want to take that modified option, drop the knees down or hold stillness. You have just five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Straight away, rolling on towards your left forearm. You want to bring the elbow underneath the shoulder and you're going to extend both the legs to the side. Now slightly bring those legs forwards in front of your body. So look down at your hips, the toes come slightly forwards. Then this forearm, drop it down, extend through the hand. The top leg is going to lift up in line with the hip and then you're going to bring the foot forwards and you're going to sweep it backwards. Really important. This front hand comes down towards the floor. This is all about your core. This is all about your booty. The muscles down the side of your leg. Toning up the side of the butt. The side of the leg. We go up to the sky. We take it round in front of yourself and sweep it back. So particularly as you get to this point bringing it forward, you'll feel it in the core. Keep those hips nice and square. Don't let the hips roll down, don't let them roll backwards. You want to keep them gorgeously square, exactly the same as your shoulders. They are stacked on top of one another. Sweep it back. Send the leg up, sweep it forwards and push it back. Let's take two more of these, keep going. Sweep the leg forward. So that underneath leg, the supporting leg is slightly forwards by a couple of inches. If you've got it in line with your hip, that is a little bit harder. If this is too much for you, take a bend through the knee. Now extend this leg to the side. You're gonna flex the foot, we're gonna take it up for two. Now down for two, we take it lift. Lift, we take it drop and drop. The active heel is in line with your active hip here and the hips are square. Go lift, take it down and down. Now make sure this hand is still supporting yourself. Make sure your abdominals are drawing in and don't fall asleep just cause your head is on the floor. We go for an up and up, we take it down and down. You've got three more of these to go. Then we hold, go drop and drop two more. Go lift, lift, go down and down. Now last one, you're gonna hold it up there, turn the toe down, little tiny presses up and up and up. Nice deep breath, inhale, exhale. The toe is diving down towards the floor. The heel is drawing towards the sky. There is an extension behind the back of the knee that the leg is long, the abdominals are pulled in, chest, and hips are square. Five, you've got four to the change. Three, we change in two, in one. Now you're gonna bring the leg all the way up to the sky. Oh my gosh, you're gonna circle it round in front of yourself. You're gonna flex the foot and add a little tiny push to me. If this doesn't feel right for you, if you can't hold it, bring the leg backwards. You need to use the supporting hand to push into the floor and try and get your heel towards me. So whatever device you're watching me on, try and stamp your heel towards me. Like you're trying to, you're trying to kick me out of your TV, of your iPhone, of your laptop. You're trying to get rid of me. Go away, Gabby. We go a little push, a little press. Now maybe turn the toe down to the floor. If you want to like me, you can close those eyes. Make yourself work that little bit harder. Remember why you switched me on? You came for a burn in the shade. You came for those results. Let's do this. You just have 10 and nine more presses. Eight, we go into back extension in six. Oh my gosh, five, push, four, three, two, one. Oh, rolling onto your chest. Bring the arms back in towards those cactus-like shapes. Relax the feet, now turn out through the legs. Inhale in, exhale back extension. You're gonna lift all the way up, reach the arms forward, squeeze the elbows back and drop down to the floor. Inhale, exhale, lift up, reach forwards, pull back, 
drop down. So relax the legs for me right now at this point on the floor, the legs are relaxed. The body comes 16 degrees about off the floor. Now lengthen and lift. So it's all about length and then height. Don't try and force the height, you won't be doing anything. You're gonna get more results by lengthening than lifting. Three more, go up, go reach, go pull, take it down, two more than we hold. Go reach, go pull, and drop. Now last one, lift, go reach. Now keep the hands above the head. You're gonna option, draw the toes off the floor, and you're gonna start to swim. Change, 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 change. Nice deep breaths. You have just eight more changes, seven, six, five other side of your butt work in three in two one bring the hands around the chest lift it up bring yourself back onto the other side start off by bringing the elbow underneath your shoulder extend both the legs draw the feet forwards just a couple of degrees and then you're going to lower down on towards your forearm i've got enough room <laughs> drop the body down and then the top leg is going to go ahead lift up to the sky bring it forwards shoot it backwards so everybody keep going i just need to move my mic keep going circle the leg up around in front of yourself <laughs> up to the sky and bring it down in front of yourself sorry i was half choking half needed to move my mic i apologize sweep it back it's too late to start again there's been too much burning happened to start this workout again so we're just gonna keep going lengthen behind the knee push back remember if you want to modify this you can always bend the underneath knee you will it will make you easy it will make it easy to lift this top leg it will also give you more support if you want to make it harder you can always draw the underneath leg in line with the supporting hip so every time you draw the leg across you come into a straight line down push back I'm gonna draw mine slightly in front of myself so I can give you full form I want you to fatigue out so if you don't make it through every exercise for me that's great because that shows that you're fatiguing out the muscle you're taking it to absolutely 100% and that is when you're going to get the most change when you go lift up press forwards <sighs> inhale exhale you've got to go lift push it one more of these giving it a full circle pressing that supporting palm into the floor now extend the leg to the side flex the foot turn the toe down we go lift up lift up take it down and down we go for a lift and lift go down and down <sighs> lift lift lengthen through this leg lengthen through the knee drop and drop you should feel it in the side of your butt here really common mistake with this one is you'll have the active heel too far back past the hip so make sure it's drawing a straight line with your hip the leg is straight if you want it more intense toe comes and points down towards the floor lift we take it down and down you've got one more of these to a hold and we go down and down now last one you're gonna lift the heel up now little tiny presses up to the sky at this point I'm going to close my eyes connect your mind to body remember why you switched me on we came for a workout we came for a shake and a burn so let's do it together go lift and lift draw the abdominals in push in towards the ground ground the palm into the floor into your mat go lift and lift you have just five flies back four three two one well done now you're going to go ahead sweep the leg up to the sky and you're going to bring it forwards now give me a little bend and press bend press you will need to draw this palm or the fingertips in towards the floor little press little push little push now again kick me away give me all you've got turn the toe down towards the floor lengthen behind the knee and let's burn out your bum as much as you can i want you burning i want you shaking that shaking is a sunset is a sign that you're transforming fat into muscle you got four three two one well done i want you to go ahead you're going to roll on towards your back draw the heels up towards your hips so when you lift up you should come into a 90 degree angle here in the legs so we're going into a bridge inhale exhale scoop the abdominals up draw the pelvis to the sky pushing towards the bridge and lower back down now let's use those arms start with hands over the head inhale exhale we press it down and then float the hands over the top of the head now curl the chin to the chest 
come into a crunch and lower back down. Hands go over the top of the head. Inhale, exhale, we go, push. Sweeping it down, roll through the vertebrae, chin to chest, lift it up and reach. Dig it down, reach the hands over the top of the head. Now let's go a little bit faster, drop, press for two, go down for two and then crunch and crunch and down and down. So everything's on a two beat, go drop and drop. We go lift and crunch, lower, press. So you're gonna take two more full rounds of this and then you're gonna hold the crunch here. So you've got one more. We go, press it down, lift, go low, reach the hands over the top of the head. Now chin to chest, lift, hold in here, into that like crunch position. I want you to make as many wrinkles in your t-shirt as physically possible. Press the palms down, go press, 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 push, push, push. Pressing the palms towards the floor, get yourself one inch higher away. Go push, press, 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 inhale, exhale. You've got seven and six, you've got five more here. Go four, three, two, one. Lower down, reach the hands back over the top of the head. Inhale, exhale, lift those hips up. Lower back down, reach the hands over the top of the head and crunch it. Lift the chin to the chest, lift and lower back down, reach the hands over the top of the head. Push and press. So pump those hips to the sky, lift the head, neck, shoulders off and lower to the floor. We go, push, press. We go, lower back down, then chin to chest, lift and press. Now last one, hands go over the top of the head. You're gonna pump those hips up, drop the hips down. So go, pump the hips up and go, drop the hips down. Now last one, pump the hips up, hold the hands to the sky and you're gonna go down for one, up for one. Now dig the heels in towards the floor. Take the toes off, dig the heels in. We go drop down, lift up. Drop down, now lift and squeeze. Now don't let your hips touch the floor. Drop, push, drop, push a little bit faster. Drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift. You've just got seven, six, five, four. You have three, two, one, hold the hips high. Little tiny presses up. Now as you press the hips towards the sky, I want you to squeeze your glutes together. We go up. Now be really mindful of the head. I want you to draw the eye line towards the ceiling. Every time you lift the hips, give the glutes a squeeze together. Your knees are in line with your hips and your heels are digging in towards the floor. We go for a push. You've got this lift. I know, seven and six and five and four. You've just got three, two. Now last one, hold here. You're gonna stay there, squeeze the glutes together, push those hips higher, inhale the breath in, exhale, get those hips one more inch to the ceiling. You've just got eight and seven and six. You've just got five more seconds here, four, three more seconds, two and one. Lower the hips down, bring the hands around the side of your waistline. You're gonna bring your right leg into a tabletop, you're gonna bring your left leg into a tabletop. Now squeeze the inner thighs together. Open the knees out. We're gonna go for a frog press, press out, squeeze back in. So we go push and press. Now draw the heels together as you press away. Make sure you're pulling, pulling your belly button down to the spine. Make sure you're closing your ribs together. We go in and squeeze. We go for a push, press, squeeze in. We go for a push and press. Now option here, this feels okay for you. Shoot the hands towards the sky. You wanna lengthen your fingertips above the shoulders and press. We go for an in and in. We go for a push, press. You've got three more of these two. Go, we go, push and press. Two more, go, inhale, in. We go, exhale, press. One more, inhale, in. We go, exhale, press. Now hold there, you're gonna take your toes to the sky, turn out, turn up, turn out. So the heels stay connected together, the abdominals stay drawn down on your back. It's not like a bridge. You just wanna make sure you've got a nice flat spine position. We go turn up, turn out. You've got four and turn. You've got three and turn. You've got two and turn. Now last one, keep those toes turned out. You're gonna add a little tiny bend and extend. Option here, can you reach the hands over the top of the head? Reach those fingertips back, a little bend and extend. Extend through those heels. You've just got 10, nine, eight more seconds, seven and six. You've got five, you have four more seconds, three, two, one. Well done, draw the knees to the chest. You're gonna gently rock yourself back. You're gonna gently go ahead and rock yourself all the way up forwards. And then I want you to bring your hands 
underneath your shoulders, just like this. Knees underneath your hips. You're gonna tuck your left toe under, and then you're gonna go ahead, tuck your right toe under, pressing in towards a plank position. Hands underneath the shoulders, eye line down to the floor. Make sure your heels are above the balls of your feet. Now you're gonna draw your legs in line with your hips. We're gonna squeeze the left knee to the left elbow and press it back. Right knee, left, left, right elbow, and we go push it back. Left knee, left elbow, squeeze it, and we go press it back, keep going. Draw the knee to the elbow. You've got this, inhale, exhale, we go drawing it in, pushing back, two more. Drawing it in, you've got it. And push it back, one more. Drawing it in and then press back. Eye line in between your fingertips. Connect your toes together, connect your inner thighs together and just give me eight, seven, six, five, lower the knees in four, in three, in two, in one, lower the knees. Rock onto the fleshy part of your knees. Bring your hands wider than your shoulders. Elbows go back into a quick push up set. Inhale, exhale, bend the elbows down. Push up for two, we go for a bend and bend. Go press, push, go bend, and then we go for a push. Now keep using the breath, inhale in, exhale away, go push, we go big bend. For two, we go press back and push, keep going. Four more of these to go. Go push, press three more, bend, go push, and push two more. Can you get your chest? your breastbone in between your hands. Straight line, crown of the head down towards the knees. Do not let your butt stick in the air. Inhale, exhale, you're gonna draw your chest down in between your hands. Elbows go to the side, little tiny presses down and down and down. Elbows fire behind yourself. You've just got a final eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Bring the toes together, open through the knees, bring those hands into a prayer, lift the hips, drop the hips down, push, drop, push, two, one. Now lower the hips, just your heels. You're gonna go ahead, add a little tiny tuck, under, 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 rotate those hips, tuck them under and under. Now this is the end, you have a Final, let's do it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. I want you to bring your back on towards the mat and you're gonna lay yourself down towards the floor. Oh, let the head drop down. Soles of the feet come towards the floor. Breathe in and then breathe, exhale away. Turn the palms up towards the ceiling. Bring your breathing back down towards a normal rate. You're going to go in towards a half happy baby. So keep your left leg on the floor. You're going to bring the hand and you're going to send it to the instep of the foot. Now draw this knee outside of the arm. Draw the elbow down. Shine the pelvis high. Inhale the breath in. Exhale the breath away. If you want to, you can extend through the underneath leg. Half happy baby. And then change it up. You're gonna drop the foot down towards the floor and you're gonna bring your left knee in. Catch the instep of the foot, draw the knee to the outside of the leg. Keep this knee bent as an option or extend if you want to. Inhale, exhale. And then I want you to lengthen both legs in front of yourself. You're gonna bring the hands over the top of the head and then stretch the body as long as you possibly can. In my time, drawing your hands away from the head, I'm drawing your toes away from the body. Draw the knees in. You're gonna give yourself a little rock and roll round. And then bring the hands on the knees and keep rolling through the body. And then gently rock yourself back, rock yourself forwards. Sweeping the feet round towards the back. I want you to interlace the fingertips behind yourself. You stay facing towards me. I'm gonna go side on so you can see what I'm doing. So I've got my hands interlaced behind my back. And then I'm gonna lift my arms all the way up for a pectoral stretch, tricep stretch, bicep stretch. Inhale the breath in. As you exhale, fold your nose down towards the floor. Head drops down, forehead on the mat. 
and then try to reach your fingertips above the head. Inhale the breath in, exhale the breath away. Drop the hands down, bring the hands around the chest and lift yourself all the way up. Option here, open through the knees, keep the toes together. Reach back. Other side. Sorry, I thought I was going to sneeze. I am going to sneeze through. Workout is not going very well, is it? Push those hips nice and high, reach the hands over the top of the head. Bring it back through the center. You're going to turn all the way towards me. Let's finish how we started. Inhale. Exhale, sweep the hands high, cross the hands over at the top, drop your left arm down, reach the right hand over for a lateral stretch, a lateral lean, and then bring that other hand over the top, reach the hand all the way over the body, inhale, exhale, reach the hands towards the sky, close the eyes for me, bring your hands all the way down through in prayer position, push the palms together, close the eyes, bring the hands to the heart center, give your shoulders a roll backwards and down, go nice and tall off your heels, find a final breath in, and exhale, release any tension you've got. And well done in your 30 minute floor bar workout with me. Hope you love that one. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, check out my Instagram at Taylor Toned, and I got a mailing list down below in the description for a free workout plan. See you again next time. Bye.